So this is Flipgrid, and it's a hugely popular um, tool for students to share videos with teachers. And it's free for educators. Um, it's really easy to get started with this. I'm going to give you the quick and dirty overview of how to set up your class as well as how to set up your first assignment. Okay, so once you get logged in here after creating your free account, um, you want to set up your grid and your grid is basically your class and you can see I have quite a few set up here for some various things that I do but my current eighth grade band one is right here when I click on that you can see that I have nine topics and topics are basically your assignments okay so grid is your class and topics are your assignments and I've got a scale pass off here I've got to get to know you uh, assignment here. I have a playing retake here, some extra credit set up. Um, and again, you can get set up here really quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my grids and I'm going to show you how to get your class set up. Remember, again, class is called a grid here. We're going to go to add new grids. Okay, we need to give it a title. So we're going to call this, uh, how about demo EDG? Okay, and um, if your school is like a Google Apps for Education district, um, your kids are going to want to sign up here with their school email because they don't have to uh, sign in with an account or password. It automatically links with their, their Google account or Microsoft account. Um, if your school is not that, then they're going to sign up with a student ID. You can even make grids where they're for the public or for um, a certain group of people, and it's really easy for them to join your grid. Okay, so we would do, um, let's go back here and get this going here. Okay, and I'm just going to do a um, school email here. So that's what most of you are going to do. Okay, and I already have my uh email ready here and I'm gonna hit next and boom i have it ready so we're going to go to my grid now okay now with a grid you can have all kinds of different topics remember those are your assignments okay and anytime you create a new grid they always give you a sample one say hello on flipgrid um and they always make it active so you can make that hidden if you wish to create a new topic here we're going to go to add topic and again, these steps are super easy. Give it a title. I can set my time here up to five minutes long. And I need to give it a description or it won't let me create it. Okay, so we're gonna go here to create topic and boom, it is ready. Okay, now I can set up a few more things here. Um, if I go back into edit, <clears throat> There are some advanced things, okay? So adding a focus, any type of additional resources, maybe you want to record a tutorial, um, some type of instructional video for your kids. Uh, maybe you just want to do something fun, like add an emoji. Um, all that is possible here, and I highly recommend doing that, okay? You can also add a tip if there's some um, specific instructions you want to give that go along with this topic. Um, you would do that there, okay? You can add attachments, PDFs. Uh, Google Docs, you can add a URL to a video to another outside resource. Okay, um, status here, this is really important here. If you don't want other students to see the videos, um, you want to keep this moderation on. If you're doing an activity where you want students to see their videos because you want them to comment, you would keep that video uh, moderation off. And you can see you can also toggle on or off student to student replies okay you can decide when you want this to launch and when you want this topic to um, be frozen and some other features down here like selfies are the best the kids can decorate um, their video and really make it personal it's a lot of fun in fact um, every time i do this with my students for the very first time the only thing we do is create the selfie okay so there's uh, some options here with that so selfies and videos are selfies only uh, do you want your students to create a title once they create one? View count, all kinds of different things here that really just customizable to how you want it. Okay, and then the last component too, if you're doing any type of playing uh, assignment here, you can give some, some feedback with a basic rubric here. 
Okay, and uh, if you do the custom feedback, you can add more topics. And anything you check here is what's going to appear in the rubric. Okay, again, it's a super basic rubric, and um, you're not going to, you know, be able to add a lot of descriptors in it. But you can do, you can give some simple um, numeric values back, and at least give your kids something. Uh, so that they can get some feedback on, on what they're doing correctly and what they need to improve. So again, that was the, the quick and dirty version of how to get started with Flipgrid if you're using it in band. There are tons of other resources. In fact, I highly recommend going online and getting the free Flipgrid Educator's Guide. It's got lots of details in there, and it's very user-friendly. Have fun with this.